We visited Everett one weekend and this is how our day went. Reaching Everett is easy via public transit. You can simply take the light rail from any of the stations till North Bend and from there board the bus to Everett Transit Centre. We headed straight to Funko headquarters on reaching Everett bus station. You can take any bus heading towards Mall station to get down at Funko headquarters. By the time we reached Everett, we were quite hungry, therefore we decided to eat first before heading to the Funko headquarters. We visited a newly opened Thai restaurant called Ram Thai, where we ordered Patsy Yu and waterfall noodles. Both the dishes were delicious and we highly recommend visiting this place. After having a delicious meal at Ram Thai, we headed to the Funko headquarters. The line was long because of Funk on 2. It took us an average of 35 minutes to get inside the Funko headquarters but it was totally worth the wait. Funko headquarters is a super fun and a must visit place in Everett. And the best part is that you can also make your own Funko. So don't forget to try that feature. Here's a short tour of the Funko headquarters.
Our next stop was a small man-made island known as the Jetty Island which is located just 30 miles from the port of Everett. To reach the island from port of Everett we took the Jetty Island ferry that costed us $3 round trip. This is a seasonal ferry that runs from July to September and the tickets can only be booked online. Therefore don't forget to book the tickets before reaching the port of Everett. This island is quite popular among the locals during summers because of its pristine coastline and sandy beaches. Here's a short tour of the Jetty Island. Lastly we visited Makaltiyo's lighthouse park that has a beautiful lighthouse that was built in 1950s and many tide pools you can also see many sea lions roaming freely in the Puget Sound here's a short tour of Makaltiyo's lighthouse park Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications on my new videos.